Good afternoon, everybody. On today's Business Applications Lunch and Learn, we're going to be diving into LinkedIn Sales Navigator and its tight integration with Microsoft's Dynamics 365. If you're not familiar with Microsoft's Business Applications YouTube channel, we feature everything from Dynamics 365 all the way to Microsoft's robust power platform, Azure AI, and today LinkedIn Sales Navigator. We release new content every week, so feel free to subscribe. And if these are helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. On today's call, I've got Chris Stedman. Chris, how are you today? I'm doing great, Nick. Good to see you again. Yeah, you as well. I appreciate your time today. I know we've been trying to schedule this, so thank you for making time in, uh, in Q4. So we appreciate it. Glad to be here. The context for this is really about, um, you know, we've entered a new age. Things, things are changing. You, there's more data, there's more tools available, but there's also more people involved in, in making decisions because they want to mitigate that risk. So when we talk about selling, it's important for us to understand two important facts. One, sellers will tell you that they spend 85% of their day in their email, in their CRM system, and in LinkedIn, trying to understand their customers and figure out how they can connect to them better. The second big component is that there's more than six people involved in any major business decision regarding a purchase. Now that number has ticked up a lot in the last five to 10 years. It used to be you had one or two points of contact, they would get the information and make a decision, but now businesses are much more complex, there's more risk involved, so they look to mitigate that risk by getting that big group buying decision um, in agreement before they make that purchase. So both of those facts, the, the amount of time that we sellers spend in every application, and how many people are involved are really the culmination of this solution. So let's take a look at how this comes to life if I'm a real seller. I'm gonna start my day and I'll look just like every single one of us does. Every seller in the world you know, gets up, they check their email. So I've got an email here from, from myself to Molly and Nick, and I'm gonna pull up my Dynamics application right within Outlook. And I'm going to start getting information on people involved. So I'm going to use Nick. I'm going to use you as an example in this. You can see that we've tracked this email to Nick and I can follow the information. But in just a click of the button, I can pull up Nick's contact in Dynamics and I'm going to be able to see Nick's LinkedIn Sales Navigator profile. Now, this is important for a few reasons. Let's say Nick is a new lead that I'm working with. I'm already understanding a little bit more about him, how much time he's spent in his role, what the company name is, um, his education, and I can also see different components like how I might be introduced to Nick. I see Nick is sharing articles. Maybe these articles are giving me insight into things that are important or things that I can discuss with Nick. I can also see who on my team might be able to introduce me to Nick, or in this case, Hayden Stafford. I actually don't know Hayden Stafford, but I can see that he's a Microsoft employee and is connected to Nick. So even though I don't know Hayden, I can use the 100,000 employees at Microsoft and their professional network to get a warm introduction to Nick. And research shows that when an introduction comes through someone's network, that the trust factor is already around 80% because, you know, in this case, Hayden Stafford would be kind of lending me his credibility so that Nick knows that, hey, Hayden vouches for Chris, there's probably a good chance that we can have a professional relationship. So that's right within my outlook. So I can go through my emails in the morning and I can quickly add activities and understand who I'm working with at this point. And I haven't even had to switch screens. We talk about that 85% of my day as a seller is in Outlook, Dynamics or CRM and in LinkedIn. Well, here I'm seeing all of it and I don't have to jump application to application, which is a real productivity drainer. People, you know, tend to get off track when they're jumping applications. So this is a very fast and easy way for me to start my day, understand who I'm working with, and quickly schedule activities so I can be more productive when I get through my email cleanup. Now, as I jump over into Dynamics, I'm landing on my dashboard and I'm taking a look at my day and I have the relationship saying, hey, I have an opportunity closing soon. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up that opportunity 
and I'm going to see the LinkedIn profile of my primary contact, Satya Nadella. And again, that, that integration is going to serve me a lot more data than just a regular CRM system or a Dynamics kind of you know contact record would show me. I see how long he's been in position, which as a salesperson, I usually cue in on right away. If it's, you know, if this has only been four months, well, Satya might need my help a little bit more than someone who's been in position for five and a half years, where they might be thinking more strategically about these things instead of um, being new to the role. Again, I can see those powerful icebreakers. So things that he's shared, and I might even want to just click on this article and comment you know, saying very cool read, thanks for sharing, just so that he and I have a little bit of engagement and, and I'm not a total stranger to him. And then again, I can use that team link to see who can introduce me to Satya, even if they're not in my professional network, but we work together, I can leverage them to get that warm introduction. And then I can also see who else at that organization has a similar role and a similar geographical area? Now, this reflects back to what we were saying about a variety of people being involved in that business decision making process. So if there's six or seven people involved in this opportunity from their perspective on who's going to make the decision, I can start to utilize this to, in my conversations with Satya, say, who else is involved? Is that Yusuf's group that's involved in that? And right away, Satya knows that I know plenty about their organization and I'm here to help. And he'll offer me up more important information and say, actually, it's not it's not Yusuf's group, it's Ron's that's involved in here. And right away, I've gotten really great intel into who else I need to engage and make sure is involved in our discussions on a big opportunity like this. Now, if I switch gears and I look at the account page for Satya's company, I see a, a slightly different flavor of what the LinkedIn Sales Navigator tool can provide me. So I'm getting all my timeline records and all the great information that I have in here. But as it pulls up the LinkedIn Sales Navigator information, so now as I navigate to the Microsoft account page, I can see information about the company themselves. I can see who I am connected to in first team link and second degree connections the recommended leads at that customer that have the profile or the job titles that I want to follow. And I can also see really great news that they've published. And that's very important to me as a seller because it's really about what's important to them. So if they've published something here about maybe a new location or a new initiative, it really helps me be timely in my engagement to that customer and illustrating how I can provide service and, uh, and how I can provide service and assistance to them in those pursuits. Additionally, I can open up the live org chart here, and as changes occur in this organization, I can always drag and drop to make sure that I'm staying on top of what the new hierarchy and organizational chart looks like. Lastly, if I'm looking at a lead for a customer, I might again want some different information that shows up to me. So I'm gonna open up Nick's record here again as a lead. And you can see right away I'm being given much more information about Nick than just his name, email, and phone number. We know significantly more information about them. I, and I can even send Nick a message right from here and it'll copy over to my timeline as an activity, making me more efficient and productive. So now we're rewarding employees or our sales employees for engaging customers no matter where they can engage them. And we automatically sync that back to our dynamics so that everyone in the organization has insight into that activity and nobody has to focus on duplicate entry of that data. So if we reflect on the fact that we get better data, we spend less time jumping at through different applications and we can contact more people involved in that buying decision. Those are three huge value points that people want to start utilizing. And this is the digital age or the digital transformation of sales as, as leveraging the data and the capabilities that exist today and 
integrating them right within the tool that people are already using. Chris, that's awesome. It's amazing that you can see all of your associated relationships, not only the contacts that you have, but also your team link connections. Like you said, sharing 100,000 relationships with your colleagues in that two degrees of separation really helps to have a modern approach to selling, which is that warm referral, or like you said, having someone open up new doors to the decision uh, makers within a uh, within a uh, organization. So very powerful. It's obviously a, a tight integration between Dynamics 365 and Microsoft's LinkedIn, which is that Microsoft relationship sales solution. But with 625 million active profiles on LinkedIn, it is the number one solution for sales. So yeah. thank you for uh, thank you for the quick demonstration and uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for the time today. This is an exciting solution and it's really changing the game in sales. Yeah, thanks Chris. Put some details in the description, but if this was helpful, it helps Chris and I uh, to give it a thumbs up or feel free to subscribe. We submit new content every week and publish that on Business Applications YouTube. Uh, so Chris, thank you for your time today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much. My pleasure.